Hello and welcome back to Grovis Does Britannia. We are on Second Age server of Classic Ultima Online today. And I wanted to share with you uh, something I found out this morning about Honeymead. I've been collecting this stuff for the, uh, the quest series. And you notice in this bag I've got like 18 of them. Uh, one of them is stacked. The rest aren't. Uh, my friend Werther told me this morning that there's like a delay. Like for the first hour, new honey mead won't stack. And then after that, it will stack. So after you collect it and it won't stack, you just wait a while. And then you can combine it all into one. It'll save you a ton of ba uh, bank space or bag space. Wherever you're storing it. And as far as what this item is used for, it works as kind of like an event currency. So there was a quest in the beginning where you could turn in, I think, 10 or 20 of them and you could get a trophy. Um, but Boomlin also said that uh, towards the end of the event, it'll work like a currency where you can buy uh, memorabilia or different items uh, from farming honey meat from the monsters at the event and i noticed if you go to the vesper customs and vesper there's uh, a room there that's got a lot of items on display and i'm wondering if those are potentially going to be the items players will get to choose from uh, historically, when he's had a currency event, um, after the event was over, whatever you didn't spend kind of went away, and you couldn't just like keep the honey meat. Now here we are at the best for customs, or you couldn't keep whatever currency there was. You had to sp uh, you know, use it or lose it. So there's lots of things on display in this front room, but if you go, if you look in this back room. You've got the Honeymead Banner, which is what first caught my eye. The Honeymeadery Cult. Turn this music down. Uh, which is the new banner. And then you have uh, the Barrel of Aged Mead. There's a Keg of Aged Mead. I think a few players have gotten the Keg, I think, from just finding it uh, be the first to uh, you know, unravel the new clues or figure out what's going on. And then there's like a regular jar of honey mead. Maybe that'll be uh, like one that a keepsake of the currency, because some some players want to you know keep that. And then there's also a honey bee hive. And then if you look over here on the shelf, there's a honey mead cult mask. Now. This probably, I mean, if these are even items, this probably will be the most expensive thing, I would imagine. Uh, and I'm sure it won't come blessed. Uh, there are blessed deeds available on uh, the server, but blessed items can still break. So if you're going, if you end up, if this ends up being an option and you buy it and bless it, I would put it on a character that doesn't see a whole lot of combat versus things that use maces or mace fighting because uh, they will break it even though it's blessed. So be interesting to see if these items on display here on this table is what players get to choose from to purchase. Now, there's always been events and, and whatnot where that are ran through this building. So I just wanted to come on here and show you the exciting news that you can stack the honey meat as you farm it. And also potentially this may be what some of the rewards look like. Who knows? Time will tell. 
but that just means I need to get on my farming game. Cause I only have like 19 and I'm sure those items are gonna be pretty pricey. Especially the stuff that's never been on the server like the, the honey beehive. I think it's a new item. Banners have been here, but not that specific one. Um, and I've got all the other ones except for the McPry. I don't have that one. But banner collecting is a thing here. As you can see, the spawn is still here on Isle of the Avatar. And I'm gonna die. <laughs> get that wizard on something. I just clicked it on itself. That was stupid. So I'm not sure when this event's going to end, but y'all get out there and get after his honey meads. You're going to you're going to want to use them. Be your chance to get a piece of the server's history. There's a lot of raid leaders out here right now too. Good time to farm this stuff up. Get rid of these wizards, they make me nervous. This little archer bard I have does not have the best resistance. Oh crap, I ran out of bandages. Anywho, I'm going to restock bandages and get back to farming, but I'm going to leave you all there. Uh, check out those items if you want to see. Uh, maybe that'll be part of it. Maybe it won't, but stay tuned to the event channel and Discord. And link to the uh, Discord channel is in the description below, as well as link to the server. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Always do that. That helps get the word out about these uh, classic Ultima Online servers. We just need more people playing. But until next time, take care and fare thee well.